Hello, I'm going to be doing a review for Nick and Charlie. This is a solitaire novella and it is not as good as this winter, but it's still a pretty good book. Um, my big issue is I kind of feel like the whole fight that happened in this book was a little out of character for Nick and Charlie. Um, you know, it like... I feel like they were trying- oh, by the way, Alice Oseman used she, they pronouns, so I will try to alternate it as much as I can. Um, Alice Oseman, they were trying to, um, uh, I feel like they were trying to go for a, like, more of a real high school relationship kind of story with them and like they had a big fight and it lasted like three weeks and they got back together but you know it I don't know I don't feel like it was as in care this fight in particular was as in character for them or something like this I feel like Nick and Charlie from Heartstopper would just like maybe they would fight for like two days even that's a stretch and then they would have a conversation like they would give themselves space and then they would be like hey let's come back to this kind of like how they did in solitaire um with that one scene that i'm not going to talk about uh because <laughs> it makes me very sad and um but if you know you know um <laughs> and it is i just i felt like it would have ended a little bit differently but it was still a good book i really liked the vibe seeing some of the characters again was nice um when nick and charlie were together it was good but like three-fourths of this book they are fighting and like not even talking to each other like they do not talk to each other and the thing they tr Alice Osman tries to do is she's like, well, um, Nick's phone is broken and he, he, he keeps getting these, like, blank text messages when Charlie keeps sending them pictures. But I think if Charlie or Nick weren't getting a response, they would, like, just go to their house. At least that from, because you've seen that happen in other books, so why is this conflict any different? I don't know that just kind of caught me off guard it it's not as big of a deal as i'm making it sound right now but it just it just felt a little off um but overall it was a good it was a good book um i loved seeing more of nick and charlie as always it was a good it was a good book i just i was wanting more of those like sweet vibes and i didn't really end up getting that which was kind of sad but it probably would end up being my least favorite book I've read so far but that is still like that does not mean I did not like it every single book I found something great about this book I think um this character the way that they wrote the characters separately really determined that they're still good characters like even separate um, because I did enjoy it, it's just I felt like the reason they were separated was a little, like, a little strange. Um, I did enjoy, like, reading them, and I had a good time, it's just I feel like the reason they separated was a little strange. And, yeah, but it was still a fun time, and I still had a- it was still a really good read that I would highly recommend if you like Heartstopper. But, is it my favorite? No. Was I wanting a little bit more? Yes. But am I disappointed? Absolutely not. I still had a good time and I would still recommend this. Um, did not ruin the books at all. Like, do not think it was bad. I would rather read The Cursed Child. I would rather read this than The Cursed Child any day. Like, and I don't like The Cursed Child. Like, I would rather read this like 500 times then read the cursed child once so um <laughs> uh yeah you know i don't like the cursed child and it's on my bookshelf because my my grandma my lovely grandma got me all the harry potter books 
and it was 50 cents and she was like i know you don't like this book but there you go and i was like thanks grandma i'll probably end up reading it when i go through a harry potter reread whenever i end up doing that i really should soon because it's been like three years since i read them last which is a while so but yeah that's really it with that i hope you're all having a wonderful day i love you all 3000 and please stay safe bye guys